Dan? Dan Augustine? Mr. Augustine. Thank you. Um, I'm here to tell you something that I learned, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I think it needs to be voiced. About a month ago, before the election, the, the statewide election, um, I was on a flight to Dallas, and I sat next to a guy who was from West Virginia. And we talked about life, I and mean, what else you do on a plane? And as a part of that, we talked about politics, because that's a big election in Virginia. He knew all about it. In fact, he knew a lot about it. And he says, yeah, you guys in Virginia, you don't run your politics very well. You don't look at, look at who you're running. I can't believe some of the people that you're running. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, do you know that you've got a guy who's going to be voting, running for Congress the next, next go around that um, is a sex offender in this state of West Virginia. And I said, what? I'd never heard that, never heard such a thing. And um, I was shocked. And he said, yeah, it, it, at a school, at a university that he was teaching, he was asked to leave and resigned. He was, like in many places, unlike NBC today, they, um, they let him go gracefully. Okay, they wanted him out, he was out. I don't know if this is true or not. All I know is what a guy told me on, the plane, uh, on a plane last month. But I wanted to tell it to this group because the name that he gave me is a member of somebody who's sitting on this board. So what I ask you as a board is to take a look at this and see, investigate it. Is there any truth to this whatsoever? I think it needs to be looked at. I wish I knew the guy's name, but if you've ever flown on the plane, we don't exchange cards. We don't talk about, you know, things. We just talk about whatever we talk about in the two hours or ever it was to fly to Dallas. So I put that before you. Please take a look at it, perhaps investigate it. I leave it to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Our next speaker is 